I don't look totally. Uh, we'll start with Christian Clark and then go to Will Guillory. Hey coach, you said that you guys were pretty much uh, quarantined in your room until 1.30 yeah, yesterday. Have you gotten to score the campus goal? Or anything? Yeah. I, I'm, I didn't. What was the line? Did you, you, you said how, I, I, there's a noise going on here. So uh, did you say something about uh, how we ad adapt in the campus? I think is what you said. And uh, yeah, we finally got out of our, out of our rooms yesterday and we, uh, just kind of explored a little bit and went around and uh, walked around a little bit. We're still in a very confined area, so we can't uh, we can't move around that much. But uh, we were able to get out of the rooms, and you know we're on a nice property, so just to be able to get out, and walk along the water, and things like that, were was much better than just uh, being able to be cooped up in the room for 48 hours. Well, the one thing uh, we have to understand is that we can't go overboard. You know, we have to uh, we have to still, uh, you know, really try to spread this work out that we have to do uh, from a conditioning standpoint. We try to do a little bit every day, uh, but the execution becomes really important as to what we're doing. And then obviously our defensive rotations and how we're going to do that. But, uh, you know, it's a short time that that it really looks kind of like a short time on paper, but we, we'll have enough time to get our guys ready. And uh, uh, the thing that I think was good is that most of our guys came back and have been doing some work anyway. So it wasn't like they've been sitting out the whole time and not doing any work at all. Coach, you mentioned yesterday how um, it's important to try to get back into a rhythm as a team and also try to regain the chemistry that you guys had. How much do you think it will help the way that you guys are playing you know, maybe from February through March? Well, I, I think the one thing we have going for us is that our guys genuinely like each other. Uh, we have a pretty unselfish group of guys. Uh, they understand uh, where the shots come, who shoots the shots, uh, the execution of our offense, the, the defense. So uh, we had pretty defined roles. We had very defined roles at the time. So uh, I think that uh, that's going to be easy to get back into that situation. And basically what we have to do is that uh, as far as the timing and things like that, uh, the more practices that we have, I think you'll see that come together also. David Grove, go ahead. Okay, sorry. Uh, Coach, this is David Grove, one of the Bird Rights. Uh, just a couple of quick things. Number one, are you and the staff uh, working to establish some type of routine for the team uh, so that the time that they have off the court uh, there's a little bit more structure? And then uh, the second one would be uh, for having everybody back, uh, having the amount of people that you do have in this team. Do you think that that gives you a little bit of an advantage in uh, knowing that you're going to be able to play 9, 10, 11 guys when this starts back up? Well, your first question uh, about you know what is happening when we're not practicing is that our guys have pretty much freedom. And you know as I said, there's not a lot to do right now. but uh, as we're here, uh, they've got a lot of things scheduled uh, from the standpoint of, uh, of entertaining the guys uh, and not and being away from the hotel. The NBA has done a good job of establishing. I know that they've got a player's room here that has a lot of things and a lot of activities that go on in there. There's golf. There's other things here uh, that the players are going to be able to do. So uh, it's going to be really up to the individual. But there's enough things here, I think, to entertain the guys. Um, as far as the chemistry of our team and, uh, you know, does it give us an advantage? You know, I think there's a lot of th teams here, uh, uh, you know, that has pretty good chemistry and was playing well. You know, we happened to be playing well when the season was put on hiatus, but I also think that uh, uh, our guys in particular feel like uh, we're going to pick up where we left off. We didn't use the word training camp at all when we came down here. We basically said we're going to resume where we were when this thing stopped, and that's going to be to uh, pick up where we were playing and play well. <laughs> Gorn. 
think so. what you've, uh, you've said, talked a lot about just picking up where you left off. I mean, there are, um, the defense this year really turned around in, in mid-December. What do you just think is key for you guys to, to uh, continue, you know, or at least, I guess, continue the strides that you made and, and keep the defense where the level is at? Well, I think one of the things that happened is that, you know, we got Fave healthy, healthy and when Derek Favors is healthy and he's on the floor, uh, we are an elite defensive team uh, by stats. And uh, uh, so him being healthy really helped. I think our guys really picked up the concept. We changed a couple of things defensively that we were doing that I think really helped the guys uh, from a rotation standpoint and understanding exactly what uh, what we wanted. And I think the, the, the main thing that we did is that we did a much better job of containing the basketball, uh, not allowing uh, 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 paint dribbles. And I think uh, when you can do that, uh, you force outside shots and challenge outside shots, uh, obviously a lot better than uh, having guys in the paint and trying to score. Because uh, one or two things are going to happen. You're either going to give up baskets or you're going to get your bigs in foul trouble. So. Uh, we tried to do a much better job at that, and I think our guys got better in those areas in particular. Hey, Coach, uh, Ron Walker from the Times picked me on advocate. Um, so that's a question as well. Uh, will it be easier, um, just as far as a communication standpoint, for your defensive guys with no fans in the stand? Will that make things easier on defense? Uh, you know, I think it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, I'm not real sure. You know, uh, we had a run-through on the Zoom call, and – what we are going to have is a lot of uh, virtual fans, believe it or not. And so uh, that's going to be, uh, I think, it, it'll help the environment in the arena uh, as far as the players and, and them feeling more comfortable uh, playing without real fans in the stands. But uh, I also think the communication part, obviously, is going to be a lot uh, easier because we're not going to have the 20,000 fans in the stands. So we'll see the, how that works. But it's going to be all new to everyone, so we'll just have to see. All right. I think it means a lot. Um, you know, obviously, doing stuff without a hoop is not the same as basketball training. Uh, so just being on the court, getting up and down, you know, is helping me. I know it's helping Brandon. So you know, we have to use these next two, three weeks to get back in basketball shape. Uh, this is Andrew Lopez here from ESPN. What uh, we we saw some some highlights just now of you guys being able to get back to, to five on five. What, what was that like? Just being able to to get up and, and be able to run with those guys again. Yeah, I think just getting our rhythm back, uh, playing together as a team, and uh, really just playing basketball. I mean, we took three months off, basically, so just to be out there and uh, get the field back, you know, I think it's going to help the team a lot. You said defense? Yeah. Um, I mean, effort, really. Uh, we're going to get the rotations back, you know, uh, these next two, three weeks. And then after that, defense is really just effort, in my opinion, uh, once you know where to go. So as long as we go out there and, you know, hustle and play for one another, we should be okay. Alonzo, um, you know, one of the things that Coach Gentry just talked about a few minutes ago was the unselfishness that, that you guys have as a team. How much do you think that's going to help as far as the, being able to just pick up the chemistry from where you guys left off in March? I don't think it'll be a big problem. Uh, like I said, we'll get these next two, three weeks of practice and get the feel for one another back again. But um, I think we should be able to pick up, pick up where we left off at. Lonzo, uh, Coach told us yesterday that uh, B.I. was able to put on a little bit of weight during the time ball. You've been able to see him for the past few years. How, how much do you think his body has changed, and how much do you think it will help his game once he adds some more muscle to his frame? Uh, I mean, it's only going to improve his game, in my opinion. Um, I feel like that's the only thing that's left, really. Um, everything else he can do, you know, at a very high level. Uh, once he gets his strength, then, I mean, he's already pretty much unstoppable, but that's just going to make him even harder to guard, in my opinion. Hey, 
Alonzo, Ron Walker, three times, Pippen Young, uh, Evan. How much um, easier will defense be? No, no fans in the in the stands, just as far as communication. How much does that think works to the defense advantage? Oh, I mean, it's going to force us to talk. I mean, there's no excuses for saying you don't hear somebody when it's just us out there. Um, I do think it'll be a little different though playing with no fans. Alonzo, with the number of teams that don't have the same rosters necessarily that we saw the last time we played basketball, how much is there going to be a strategic adjustment from those teams that you do know who aren't getting guys back? I mean, teams like Portland who will be getting three or four players back in the rotation. How's that discussion going to go and just making adjustments from teams that you kind of haven't seen? Uh, I think we just control what we control. We just worry about ourselves. You know, uh, whoever the opponent is, we're supposed to beat them. It's that simple. It really don't matter who's in another jersey. Last one, guys. That's it. We're good. Thanks, Lonzo. Thanks, Thanks Appreciate it. Well, I think uh, being away from the gym, it was important for me to do at least something to keep my body fresh and, and ready uh, to go when I uh, come back to the team. And um, I think uh, the endurance and just um, doing everything every single day has helped me out uh, coming into here and just trying to get my build my body back up to being in play form. Um, but I think that's that's the, the last thing to the mix. Uh, just trying to build strength and uh, fill my body out so I can be the best player I can be. Brandon, it's Andrew from uh, ESPN. Uh, how much how much weight did you put on, and uh, has that been an emphasis for? Like throughout the year, or was it just something like you knew, like, all right, I have to take care of this during, during this quarantine period? Well, I feel stronger. Of course, I was eating, but I feel stronger. I know whatever I was eating that I was going to lose as soon as I got back on this basketball floor. So it was important for me to lift and eat at the same time, but uh, I was especially focused on lifting upper and lower body. Yeah, um, how much time did you guys? spend uh, reviewing film during this down period, especially you having to play a lot in the four. Did you get to look at what you were doing position-wise, balance-wise, and really uh, work on the mental part of that? Absolutely. I think I actually got an opportunity to just to see different positions on the basketball floor. Me playing the one, me playing the two, the three, the four. Uh, finding different ways that I can score the basketball, but also put guys in good positions where I can uh, make the assist, make the right pass, uh, rebound the basketball, push it on the break, just everything. Uh, just a different thought process for every time that I step up on the floor in a different position. Yeah, B.I., um, you guys obviously have like basically 20 practice days if you include the scrimmage days as well before you play a, a real game. How long do you think uh, it's probably going to be hard to kind of uh, narrow this down, but how how long do you think it will take before you guys feel comfortable as far as the rhythm and getting close to game shape? Well, everybody, well, I'm thinking everybody has to get their legs on them. Uh, of course, playing five on five is a whole different ball game. So uh, going full speed, trying to get into your shot, going full speed, trying to get to the rim and, and, and making sure you had the right landing on the defensive end, uh, making the right read. So uh, we have a lot of young guys, so I don't think it'll take long, uh, maybe a week, week and a half. I can't put a date on it, but I think we're moving in the right direction. Hey, Brandon, it's uh, Christian Clark. Um, I mean, you guys just didn't get to play 5-5 five five for so long. How has it felt 
you know, being in five and five situations the past two days? I mean, it feels good. Of course, we're not where we want to be. And, but uh, we we much rather play five on five and go out here and do workout drills and go through practice all day. So this five on five is definitely helping out our condition. That's it. Thanks, Vi. Thank you.